One of the talks that my lab is presenting this year is discussing the genomic landscape of childhood acute lymphoblastic leukaemia. The commonest childhood malignancy, it's, it's long been a poster child, if you like, for the understanding of the genetic basis of, of any cancer. Um, and there's been a great deal of work over the last decade that have identified new subtypes of leukaemia that were defined by particular genetic features that were not previously recognised. Um, and also that have identified particular genetic markers that influence outcome and prognosis. The, uh, the study that is being presented this year is a little different because for the first time we've taken firstly a very large cohort of over two and a half thousand children with ALL, each of whom was subjected to some level of genome-wide DNA sequencing and the majority also had <laughs> RNA sequencing or transcriptome sequencing. So this has allowed us to first solidify, if you like, the classification of leukaemia to identify some new subtypes that were not recognised, uh, but more importantly to now fully understand the full range and texture of, of somatic genetic changes, that is acquired genetic changes, that define each of these groups of leukaemia. Uh, this has generated some really unexpected findings. We're seeing a number of new targets of mutation that were not previously identified, either because they weren't seen on previous sequencing approaches or the cohorts were not adequate. Um, some new associations with different features of disease and also some new uh, associations with outcome. So this, if you like, provides a foundation or a roadmap for what we think will be a very exciting time of new mechanistic investigation, as well as some new opportunities for translation into the clinic.